this is just a quick video showing you how a compression fitting works. So there is the fitting which is made from brass and then the key components are the compression nut which looks like so and then the olive that looks like so. That is a copper olive. Apparently in different countries they call these different names. In Finland they call that a pearl and in the USA they call it a ferrule. So to use a compression fitting, first of all you put on the nut. You will notice that the nut is a good fit on the actual tube. And then you put on the actual olive. And the olive is an even better fit. That gives you a really tight fit on there. So that is a fitting. You'll see that it is recessed on the inside of there. When you push the tube into the fitting, the olive then slides up and fills that gap. Once you tighten the actual compression nut up, it actually squeezes that olive. So the olive grips the pipe and it also is forced into the fitting, creating a watertight seal. One thing you should never do with these is put more pressure in the system than what the manufacturers allow. And I think these are tested up to about 10 bar. Although I've done a video on how much pressure one of these can take and they can take considerably more before they actually fail. I've actually cut part of this fitting away so you can actually see how it works. You can see that the actual olive is being gripped at the top there by the nut. That is forcing the olive down into the space there, which is compressing it. Once you get to a certain tightness, it will actually compress the olive onto the pipe and then it will also seal the actual space in the joint, making a watertight joint. A lot of people tend to struggle with compression fittings because they don't know how tight to tighten them up. So a rule of thumb that I normally use is I try and use two smallish spanners like so and then I try to put as much force on as I can. So I'm going to grip the fitting with that spanner and then I'm going to tighten this end up using the small spanner. You may notice that it does make a little bit of noise which is perfectly normal. Now that is pretty tight and you can guarantee that that would actually be tight enough for that fitting to work. So now that I've tightened that up, I'm actually going to undo it. I'm going to take a look at the olive. You can see that that olive has actually gripped the pipe quite well, but it isn't actually deformed. So that would have been a good joint. But the problem is when you over tighten these, you can actually deform the olive quite badly and you can actually distort the actual tube. So I'm now going to tighten this up using a couple of larger spanners and I'm going to put a lot of force on this, too much force, and you'll see just how badly that damages the actual olive. That is now very tight. So tight in fact that we've actually rounded off parts of the nut on the fitting. So I'm now going to undo that and then we'll take a look at the olive. That was so tight that it has actually deformed the pipe. So if you ever tighten one up that much, there's a good chance that you're going to damage the olive, you're going to damage the pipe, there's a good possibility it will leak. So it is important that you do not over tighten compression fittings when you're using them. They are actually one of the best joints you can use. They are normally very reliable and they are very easy to use. A lot of the problems with compression fittings are down to the manufacturers 
they should specify the actual torque setting for the nut. If they came out with a figure and said you need X amount of torque on a copper olive or X amount of torque on a brass olive, there would be a lot less problems with these because people could just torque them up using a torque spanner to an exact torque setting and that would alleviate a lot of the problems with these fittings. But for me personally, these are one of the best fittings that you can actually get. If you watch the other video that I've done on this, you'll actually see me pressure testing a compression fitting and we actually pressure test it up to 50 bar, which is a tremendous amount of pressure. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this short video and if you have, please subscribe if you haven't done already.